Hi guys, welcome to Isaiah's broadcast again with Isaiah, aka me. Before we start this video, subscribe down below and give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below what you think of this message or if there's something you'd like me to talk about or if we want to do a Q&A, you know, like just comment down below a future messages as we're almost done with the book of Romans. Yeah, there's only two more chapters left for us. So today, we are going through Romans 14. So subscribe right now. We are, And guess what? Big announcement for the channel. 15 subscribers. Woohoo! We're only 900... We're, um, we're only 985 away from... Like, literally, 985 from going live. But if... I know it's a lot, but if we spread the news, spread the news to your family, your friends, everyone, so you can get subscribers and we can go live and we can share more of the word of God. And as the channel gets more famous, the more it's going to go out there, you know. So let's read from Romans 14 to start today. But let's pray as we should before a message. Lord, we pray this message will be good, Lord. And that everyone will be blessed by it. And that non-believers will start to read this. Like actual people who like don't know you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Even, just so you know, Catholics even know Jesus. Everyone. who Like Mormons even know Jesus. But the non-believers need to come to know Jesus. Specifically that. <laughs> I think that they... That we shouldn't judge by religion. Because God came for all people. God loves us all, so here we we shouldn't say, oh, they're religious. No, God came for all of us. He, he'll give us all a chance, trust me. The law of liberty. Receive one who is weak in the faith, but not the one who disputes, not, but not to disputes over doubtful things. For one believes he may eat all things, but he who is weak eats only vegetables. Mm. Such so true, like if you believe, you know, you eat all things. Kind of like, you know, you you become successful if you believe in him. Mm, that's so true. Let not him who eats despise him who does not eat, and let him who does not judge him who eats, for God has received him. Mm. Just really take time to listen to these verses sometimes, like, you know. Not him. Who are you to judge another servant? Who are you to judge the Catholics, the Mormons? That is I, what I think this is saying, or... Other master servants because they don't know G No, Jesus came for all of us. He loves every one of you. Jesus loves you. Get this message straight. If you want, if you're depressed and think no one loves you, if you want to kill yourself or whatever, Jesus loves you. And I don't want you to ever forget that. No matter how sad or angry you are. Okay. And let not him who does not... Sorry. To his master he stands or falls. Indeed, he will make to stand, for God is able to make him stand. One person esteems one day above another. Another esteems every day alike. Let each be fully convinced in his own mind. He who observes the day observes it to the Lord. Mm -hmm. So when you, when you, when my, when, I'm just going to say, my mom, when she looks at the sky, when my dad or any of my, when you observe, instead of looking at your phone like this, I think this is really what the Bible is talking about. Like, sometimes when you just think about what it's, what, which let me continue on in the passage as it. He who observes the day, observe it to the Lord. And he who does not observe the day to the Lord, he does not observe it. He who eats to the Lord, for he gives the Lord thanks. And he who does not eat to the Lord, he does not give. 
he does not eat and gives God thanks. So let me break it down, basically. If you look at the nature, the beauty, beauty out there that God created, you are thinking the... How did it say? It says, he observes the Lord. Yeah, he ob observes it to the Lord. But if you're on your phone, you're not observing the day. You're not observing the Lord. Like, that's why my parents sometimes look outside. Sometimes you guys need to start looking outside. Looking at humans. Like, not your phone. I have many people in my family. Like, no joke. Many people. I'm not going to mention names. But they like to go on their phones, you know. And... I will be honest, I can be like that sometimes, and I shouldn't. Now that I'm reading through this, okay, I will, I need to correct my own mistakes before I do to my family, as we have a hard time, it's easy to correct others, but not ourselves, but this is a sin that I even make sometimes. And who, though, and basically the eating part is talking about if you don't give thanks, if you don't pray before you eat, don't take advantage, like, oh, just, it's just grace. Prayer is more than just grace for a meal. You don't do it just be for religion, no. Like, you do it because, you do it be, to give grace to God, to thank God for your meal and to make sure it's healthy and that it's nourished to our bodies. You do it to praise. It's not meal time. Time prayer can be taken advantage of sometimes. And he who does not, uh, for none of us live, lives to himself, and no one dies to himself. For if we live, we live to the Lord, and if we die, we die to the Lord. Therefore, whether we live or die, we are the Lord's. For this end, Christ dies died and rose again and rose and lived again that he might be the lord of both the dead and the living so christ died and rose again so he can be lord to those both the dead and the living mm. but why do you judge your brother yeah why do you judge your brother listen or why do you show contempt meant for your brother for we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ for it is written as I live says the Lord every knee shall bow to me and every tongue shall confess to God so confess to God I mean don't judge your brother's mistakes because you we don't notice the speck in our own eyes sometimes so then each of us shall give account of himself to God Therefore, let us not judge one another anymore, but rather resolve this, not to put a stumbling block or to cause to fall in our brother's way. Mm, let me read that again. Therefore, let us not judge one another anymore, but rather to solve this, not to put a stumbling block or cause to fall in our brother's way. This is so true. Like, this is literally... So true. We are not to judge our brothers when we have put it. We are not to put a stumbling block or cause a fall in our brother's way. You know, like, oh, but I do everything right. Oh, guess what? You're not perfect. You have to confess your sins. The law of love. I know and am convinced by the Lord Jesus that there is nothing unclean of itself, but to him who considers anything to be unclean, to him it is unclean. Yet if your brother is grieved because of your food, you are no longer walking in love. So if you say, Ew, I don't like your food, you are no longer walking in love. So check yourself, just so you know. I should check myself too a little bit. You are no, do not destroy with your fruit the, the one for whom Christ died. Therefore, do not let your good be spoken of as evil. For the kingdom of God is not eating and drinking, but righteousness and peace. Just listen. The kingdom of 
God is not on eating and drinking, but righteousness and peace and joy and in the Holy Spirit. That's what the kingdom of God truly is. I hope anyone, should, I hope anyone, non-believer, Christians, Catholics, anyone out there knows this. For he who serves Christ in these things, it is acceptable to God and approved by men. So whoever, so whoever serves God like with drinking and, or I don't know exactly, but it says, yeah, it's a, accepted by God if you do, if you, for those who serve Christ in the things I just said, is acceptable to God and approved. Men approved just approves it, but it's acceptable to God. Therefore, let us pursue the things which make for peace in the things by which one may edify another. Do not destroy the work of God. Let me say that. Do not destroy the work of God for the sake of food. Do not. Do not destroy the work of God for the sake of food. Now, we can't have food. Food's bad for us now. I'm going to stay. No, just don't worry about food. You don't make food a God, you know, like that. Okay. But I can't take pictures of... Pictures of food is fine. I mean, if it's a special food, you may. But, like, just don't make it ahead of God. Don't let food destroy your relationship with God, is what it's saying. For the sake of food, all things indeed are pure, but it's evil for the man who eats with offense. So don't eat with offense. It's... It is evil. It is good neither to eat meat, nor drink wine, nor do anything to, but by which your brother stumbles, or is offended, or is made weak. Do you have faith? Have it to yourself before God. Happy is he who does not condemn himself in what he approves. Let me say that again. Do you have faith? Have it to yourself before God. Happy is he who does not condemn himself in what he approves. So, you're happy when you don't con anyone could comment down below. Anyone's happy when we don't condemn our sins, but we need to. Do we have Do you have faith? Have it to yourself before God. Oh, wait, be, but he who doubts is condemned if he eats because he does not eat from faith, for whatever is not from faith is sin. Let me read that again. So anything you don't, if you don't eat in faith, like praying and then thanking God for the food, let me. But he who, for whatever is not from faith is sin. Just remember that. Whatever is not from faith is sin. I know this was a little bit of a shorter section, but I really hope you guys hear this. Okay. It's a simple message today. And comment down below on stuff you want to do. Before we end this video, subscribe down below and give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below on what you thought of this message. We shall pray. Lord, we pray that people would live in faith, not in sin. That people would truly come to know you, more, Lord. And that people will love you, Lord. Not man. They wouldn't respect man. They would come to you, Lord, with their sins. And that they would be repent to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Subscribe right now, guys, and I'll see you next time.